heading out today to go see a football game, but not the uh, Commanders. We're going to go see the Washington Spirit mm -hmm. and the Kansas City Current play women's Major League Soccer. Yes. We're excited. This should be a huge event. There's actually a doubleheader today with a friendly between Chelsea and Arsenal. Arsenal. This is going to be a big, big event. I'm also excited because it is a straight shot on the Green Line Metro from our place down there. We survived and enjoyed the Washington Spirit game. Thank goodness we were not in the sun. Yes, the entire time we were in the shade. But Mid not only did we miss two of the Washington Spirit's goals, we also missed the single Kansas City current goal. That must have been when we were trying to find you non-carnitas tacos, <laughs> which were pretty hard to find in that place. You can't get healthy food in that particular ballpark. Folks that we are staying in the home of and watching their pets of, one of them works at the Urban Grape. Yeah, the great thing about Urban Grape is it has, they focus on diverse winemakers. So you go in there and so the wine that I got is a local vineyard and woman winemaker. Super excited to give this a try. Yeah, we got to get it in the freezer though and get it cold. Yeah, because I think it's warming up in my hand. <laughs> We are strategically uh, plotting our course to stay in the shade. Yeah, we may be hiding in the air conditioning for the rest of the day, and this might be one of those we had breakfast of yogurt, etc., uh, at the house, and we're probably gonna do veggies and hummus and arugula and eggs for dinner. We do not do Michelin star restaurants every night. We do not eat out all the meals. Our pocketbooks and our waist hands <laughs> do not appreciate eating out all the time. Uh, we are doing art museums today. Art are you museum. excited? I am excited. This really? is going to be a, a busy art museum day today. and It's kind of a three for the price of two. Yes. Well, maybe even four because the Hirsch, we're going to the Hirshhorn first, which is a contemporary art museum and also has a sculpture garden. So there's kind of two there. Okay. And then we are going to the National Gallery of Art, which has both a contemporary side and non-contemporary. And it also has a sculpture garden. And it has a cafeteria or a food place. Well, we may have to eat because we're getting a little bit of a later start. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Had to get some work done this morning. Um, hopefully there's one at Hirshhorn. That one might, that looks like a smaller facility. That one might be a little bit nicer or we're going to eat at food trucks along the way. I'm glad I got my running shoes on. Yep, uh, and it's a little bit warm. Cicadas are calling. Apparently that's a mating sound according to somebody that follows us. We'll have to fry some up. on the third floor of the Hirshhorn Museum in Washington, D.C., and I love this museum. I've decided I love contemporary and uh, modern art. I think I've said this before in a couple of other ones. This is a circular building, and um, it's just, it's been so much fun. What do you think, Z? Very interesting. The interior of the cylinder, um, they allow an artist to do art all the way around, and so it's huge. And downstairs, some uh, artists who painted things on the walls, meaning that they can't take it with them. And then this person designed it in LA, sized to this building, and they can peel it off and take it with them. But it's, uh, it's very cool. It looks like they used multiple, multiple layers of some art or fabric or something, along with ropes, that they then glued it all together. And it looks then, like climbing. It looks like climbing. Yeah, and then in some instances, they tore the rope out to create tearing. Mm -hmm. Just 
fascinating. And, and again, just the scale of it is very impressive. So we've decided that we like mid-sized um, museums, like the Palace Legion of Honor and the De Young Museum. This is like perfectly sized, it has little cafes. So we were able to get a little coffee in between and um, it's a manageable museum and you don't get totally overwhelmed. I am a little disappointed there is an exhibit that's being set up. I would have liked to have uh, seen it, but it's actually making it so that this uh, museum is super tolerable uh, before we go to lunch and then head over to the humongous National uh, Gallery of Art, which will be fun, but I'm expecting my brain to explode. So, Zeke, there's I'll bring this. them paper towels. So there's a sculpture garden over there. The sculpture garden here at the Hershey one is closed, unfortunately. So we didn't get to see that, but that makes it all that more But tolerable. there are still numerous, numerous sculptures outside. By Rodan, several of them by Rodan. We just learned something new that this squash is by Yaoi Kusama, who is the same artist that did this, which, um, and she also was contracted with Louis Vuitton. So when my son and I were in Paris last year, we saw a three story long high installation of an artist with a bunch of paint splotches on the outside of the Louis Vuitton building. So I was super excited to see that the squash is by her. And um, this, this museum, the Hirshhorn, the gals were saying it's like 75% women artists. So usually when I'm going through, I take a few pictures as I'm paying attention to the women artists. And what we found today is there were so many, including an internal installation, the one with the black and white words, the installation that's downstairs, the interior one by Jessica, somebody or other, that was incredibly cool. So I am, I love this museum. If you come to DC, definitely check out the Hirshhorn. Very cool museum, cool art. You know what the squash reminds me of? Pumpkins, lunch. Lunch. <laughs> Gallery of Art and I debated about doing something completely different because the first one was so amazing and I didn't want to ruin the art and experience high from it. And then we walked up the stairs to the National Gallery of Art and walked into this gorgeous building and then through the arts of the ages had some lunch and uh, I good think we, salad bar. Yeah, good salad bar. And now we're gonna go do the contemporary and modern side, the east wing of the National Gallery of Art. we need to go back inside. I think 20 minutes, we're expecting a thunderstorm. The sky, you can definitely see it's gotten a little darker. Um, gotta love the blue rooster behind us. We're still in the east side of the National Gallery of Art and not so far, Zeke? Uh, this is good, this is good. The building, the layout is very interesting. Huge cavernous spaces, interesting art. I feel like we're getting lost. I'm not sure we're gonna be able to see it all.
10.30 this morning, we entered the Hirshhorn Museum. It is now 4.30. We had a brief stop for lunch and for a coffee. Zeke, how are you doing? Coffee, coffee was good. Good coffee, coffee, I like coffee. <laughs> Um, you tried to lose me a couple of times in the museum. I couldn't shake you. Couldn't shake you. I tried. We, uh, we... I threw my wedding ring into a fountain. Somehow and that, it came back. And then back. it came right back. I, yeah. Oh, well, I did ask someone. I'm like, do you have a, a spouse retrieval program? Because I seem to have lost mine. Anyway, we just did the west wing or the west side of the National Gallery of Art. Absolutely incredible, um, so much. And what was super fun is recognizing some of the artists that we've seen at other galleries, whether it's in San Francisco, whether it's in Italy, Paris, or um, even in Montreal. Yeah, the problem is she asked me, where did we see this? And I go, I don't remember. I think I've seen something like it, but I don't know. I've only seen like 38 museums in the last four months. <laughs> Uh, well, tomorrow you're going to have a day to yourself uh, outdoors. Um, fortunately, we missed the rain as we were going in, uh, going inside. It had started to sprinkle, and then we found out that it completely poured. So we missed that. And if there was thunder and lightning, we missed that as well. And now we are going to go venture around the sculpture garden at the National Gallery, National Gallery of Art, which looks pretty interesting, starting with this jackrabbit behind us. I don't know the story behind it. So are you looking forward to a museum free day tomorrow? I'm looking forward to a different day tomorrow. The first two today for me were pretty cool. The, the modern and the uh, contemporary and that type of thing, that was pretty good. Get to the other stuff, you know, the classics and the... Italian, French, Italian, Flemish. Italian, French, and seen plenty of that. And uh, But we found the lemons, the, the swirling of the lemons that were that demonstrated the quality of the artist in the Dutch, Dutch paintings. Yeah, I've got lemon trees at home. I'm good. <laughs> and that's a wrap for the National Gallery of Art. No, is that it? The National Gallery of Art? See, it's been, it's like quarter to five. The sculpture garden is absolutely beautiful so well manicured very interesting art i found at least one sculpture by a woman but that was it maybe there were more i just didn't see them what do you think zeke beautiful little place to hang out uh, especially on a day like today when it's uh, warm but overcast um, and if you needed to you could jump inside there's only about 17 other museums right around here uh, that are all free to get into. Okay, now we need to go find the local metro, catch the green line, head back home, and... Release uh, the dogs and cats. And snacky snack dinner again? Quite possibly. Well, you it's... Never know. Snacky snack... Well, we have to stop and get more hummus. And coffee. Oh, and coffee. We're out of coffee? I don't care if we're out of coffee. Do you care if we're out of coffee? <laughs>